Once my friend smelled the appetizing aroma of the roasted garlic mashed potato over the beef meal, they simply can't resist my osobuco with gremolata. And today, I'll show you how it's done right here in my beautiful kitchen. intimidated by the name of our dish. Ha? I know it's called oso buko with gremolata and roasted garlic mashed potato. But it's very easy to make. Madali lang po to. So now, let's begin. Of course, we have the star of the show, this uh, beef shank from Monterey. And I always make sure it's Monterey because it's good and the quality of the freshness is perfect. So uh, let's start with the roast garlic. Minsan kasi, well, usually, roast garlic takes around 20 to 30 minutes to finish. So, we can do that now para habang nag-roast siya, may iba pa tayong pinaprep. Okay. First, I get some foil. Foil. And then, I get the garlic. Put it here. Rosemary. And some thyme. Uh, using fresh ingredients is always better because uh, you get more of the real flavor. So I just have the rosemary and the thyme, the pepper, and the salt. And then I wrap that like a baby. Time to roast this garlic. Naka preheat na yung oven. And we'll leave that for about 20 to 30 minutes. Next up, it's time for the beef. First, we coat the beef with flour. Beef is here. Look how pretty that is. Oh, ang ganda nung pagkaka marble. So here's the flour. Now we will uh, sear the beef um, five minutes on each side or until it's brown. So now I add in the oil. Ooh. I really like cooking with real flame because I can feel that I'm cooking. Pag sa condo usually, di ba? Pero that won't make a difference naman. Like if you don't have real flame, it's totally fine. Gusto ko lang yung feeling ng may apoy. <laughs> Now we will let this sear for five minutes on each side or until it's brown. Bakit natin sinisear ang meat? Well, to sear, to sear meat means also means to seal in the juices. Kasi pag dinerecho mo na lutuin yan, magda-dry siya dahil lalabas lahat ng juices niya. But if you sear it, you actually create a coating so when it cooks, the juices stay inside. Now, we'll do the other side. See, it's nice and brown. So, gagawin natin to on all, all sides to make sure that it's really sealed at nakasear lahat ng side niya. At maganda rin po kasing tingnan pagka brown yung labas ng meat kesa yung luto na siya pero wala tayong makitang color. Maganda kasi yung may color para maganda po talagang tingnan sa dish. And, para ma-seal in talaga yung juice. Um, I let this rest for about five minutes. In the same pan, we shall saute onion, garlic, celery, and 
carrots. Carrots. Let us start. Onion. Garlic. Carrots. And celery. And we will saute this until it's brown. Bantayan nyo lang po yung sinaw sa tayo na dapat maging brown na siya, pero syempre huwag sunog. In my case, medyo makapal po yung pan na ginagamit ko ngayon. Kaya mas matagal po mag-penetrate yung init galing sa ilalim. And then next, we add in the bacon. Ang mangyayari po dito, in po natin yung bacon and we will render the fat from the bacon at magdadagdag po yun sa grease and then we can saute it even more. So, kukunin po natin yung fat from the bacon. Tomato paste. Now we add in the beef stock. This is the beef stock. And then we will let this simmer until it becomes nice and thick. At syempre, hanggang sa mawala yung acidity ng tomato. Ano po bang ibig sabihin na mawala yung acidity? Um, ibig po sabihin nun, mawawala yung pagkaasim niya at mapapalitan ng sweet flavor. So, pwede niyo po siyang itry after a few minutes. Makikita niyo po yung difference pagka naluto na po yung tomato paste. Idadagdag na natin dito yung beef shank na tinabi po natin kanina. Beef shank. There. And then, we cover that. Balance. Habang hinihintay po natin maluto ito, ngayon naman ay magboboil na ako ng potato para sa mashed potato natin. Okay, potato check. Hot water. Check. And I will let this boil for a few minutes. Ready na ang ating potato? Ready na siya. So now, kukuha tayo ng weapon of choice, potato masher. Pero kung nagtataka po kayo kung bakit hindi ko tinanggal yung skin ng potato, dahil meron pong nutrients yung potato. And we want to retain those nutrients by not peeling off everything. So I will keep the skin, and of course it's cooked na rin naman, so safe na po yung kainin, huwag po kayo mag-alala. At maganda nga pong tingnan sa mashed potato pag may konting skin, kahit na mash na siya. Para makikita mo na hindi po siya gawa sa powder, tunay na potato po siya. Okay? So, i-check na rin po natin kung kumusta na yung ating roasted garlic. Ready na ang ating roasted garlic. Ayan. At um, dahil love ko kayo, kakamayin ko na lang siya at titiisin ko yung sakit. Charot lang. <laughs> so then, we mix the garlic here. Yung cloves po, sobrang dali na pong mag-fall off from the, from the peel. Dahil roasted na po siya. At ang bango, amoy na amoy ko yung herbs, yung rosemary, yung thyme. I suggest na pag gusto nyo pong mag-add ng touch of garlic sa mga dishes nyo, mag-roast na lang po kayo ng tunay na garlic kesa gumamit kayo ng powder. Dahil iba pa rin talaga pag natural. Ngayon, I will mix 
all of them together. <laughs> Dahil roasted daw po ang ating garlic, sobrang dali na po niyang mamamash at uh, mabilis lang po siyang i-mix sa ating mashed potato mixture. Cream. Salt. And pepper. And then I will mix everything together with Ayan, ready na siya. And now, let's check on our also buko. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow. Gawa ko ba talaga to? <laughs> Ganda. I think it's ready and it's time to plate our food. Now guys, madali lang ang plating. Ang number one rule ko, personally, sa plating, kailangan may height yung dish. So maganda na may konting height para may dimensions. First off, I'll start with the mashed potato. And hindi po kailangan natin gawing sobrang perfect dahil pagka medyo messy, I think mas maganda. And then, lalagay na po natin yung beef shank dito. Of course, we will season the sauce with salt. Pepper and to balance it out, brown sugar. Perfect. Let me mix all of that together. Once na na-mix nyo na yung salt, pepper, and brown sugar with the sauce, I will now pour this sauce over our beef. Fresh rosemary as a garnish. And of course, we're adding the gremolata. And of course, I would love to finish this with some potato elements. And there you have it! It's my osobuko with gremolata a la pia! <laughs> See you guys again next time for another wonderful dish right here in my 